in this video we are going to continue with our uh, m colino blockers we will talk about scopolamine uh, hydrobromide uh, platyphylline ipratropium methacin pyrenzepine etc right so let's start let's start with uh, scopolamine also known as uh, hyoscine all right the name scopolamine is derived from a type of nightshade known as scopolia. And the name hyoscine is derived from another type of nightshade known as hyoscyanus niger. Right. So um, its pharmacokinetics and peripheral effects are similar to atropine. The central action of this drug is greater and longer than that of atropine. This drug inhibits the activity of the eighth pair of cranial nerve. When used by injection, the effects begin after about 20 minutes and will last for up to 8 hours. This drug may also be used as orally or as a transdermal patches like this. So if you know uh, nicotine patches, the same pathway. You know, nicotine patches are used in people who are addicted to tobacco, but they want another way of taking nicotine than through smoking. All right, so transdermal uh, patch. These are some of the indications. Uh, scopolamine prevents and treat motion sickness. It is also sometimes used before surgery to decrease saliva. It prevents post-operative nausea and vomiting. It produces sedation and short-term memory blocking, right? So uh, it's also known as uh, devil's breath. It is anti-Parkinson effects and it can be used in pre-meditation. Right. The next one is uh, platyphylline hydrotartrates. Right. So this drug is uh, an alkaloid derived from uh, Senecio platyphylus. It is central action which is less than that of atropine. It causes inhibition of vasomotor centers and a it is a direct myotropic action on blood vessels causing vasodilation. So this drug can be used to treat spasms of the cerebral and coronary blood vessels and it can also be used in hypertension. 48 year old man was admitted to the urologic department with symptoms of renal colic. What drug uh, from the mention from those mentioned below can be used for smooth muscle relaxation due to uh, blockade of M cholinoreceptors? Right. So this was the only correct answer. Platyphylin. Right. So cool. Next is uh, ipratropium uh, bromide. Right, so this drug is a quaternary derivative of atropine. It's non-selective, like other drugs which we covered. They are all non-selective M colino blockers, right? And this is uh, given in form of aerosol. This drug is not absorbed in the lungs, and it acts longer on uh, colino receptors only in bronchi and cause bronchodilation. This drug is indicated in COPD. Uh, it prevents asthma attacks, right? Another drug is called uh, tyotropium, right? So uh, this concept is saying uh, tyotropium is longer duration than ipratropium. The next is methacenum or methacin, right? This is a synthetic non-selective m colina blocker. Uh, it's more potent than atropine in dilation of bronchi. It has the ability to inhibit gastric secretion and uh, it decreases a uterine tone. It does not penetrate 
the central nervous system, does not act on the eye, and it has poor influence on the heart. These are some of the indications. Bronchial asthma, stomach ulcers, colic, pre-medication, and it can also be used if there is danger of miscarriage. This is uh, an example of a question uh, from Croc1. Pharmacological effects of this drug substances are medriasis, decrease of exocrine gland secretion, tachycardia, dilation of bronchi, inhibition of intestinal peristalsis. This drug does not penetrate into the central nervous system. Determine the drug, right? So the answer is methacin, right? So if you look at uh, other drugs like atropine, atropine can cross the central nervous system. The other drug which belongs to the same group is pyrenzepine on E, right? But this is the answer, methacin. I will talk about uh, pyrenzepine next and you will see. Right, so this pyrenzepine is also known as gastro, gastrozepine, gastrophostoma. Right? So this should give you hints, right? Because this drug is a selective M1 cholinoblocker inhibiting gastric gastric secretion. It is administered orally, uh, intramuscularly, or IV. It produces a maximal concentration in blood plasma in two to three hours after oral administration. This drug does not penetrate the central nervous system and does not, uh, does not cross the placenta. Some of the indications include uh, gastric and duodenal ulcers, uh, zollinger ellison syndrome, and this drug, uh, we can use it in prevention of peptic ulcers caused by stress. The side effects of uh, this drug include dry mouth, blurred vision, urinary retention. The side effects of these drugs are minimal in comparison with those caused by atropine. Two other drugs that I would like to mention are benzotropine and trihexylphenidine. Right, so these drugs can be used to treat Parkinson's disease and acute dystonia. Right, so benzotropine. You can see benz are indicated in red. Pack my benz. Benzotropine, trihexylphenidine, right? We will talk about these drugs later in anti Parkinson's drugs, but they belong to this group. That's why I just mentioned them. Right? There are also other drugs which you should know uh, before we conclude this video, right? Uh, there are drugs which act on uh, genital urinary tract. These drugs make the bladder soft, soft for solifenacin, oxybutynin. Flavoxate, toterodine. These drugs reduce blood spasms and edge urinary incontinence, right? Overactive bladder. Hyosiamine, dicyclamine act on the GIT, right? Their function, they are antispasmodics for irritable bowel syndrome. Glycopyrrolate is uh, used in GIT and respiratory system. If given parenterally, uh, it's used like a preoperative to reduce airway secretion and orally to reduce drooling and also in peptic ulcers. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. If you get the opportunity, you can check in the video description. I have books for step one and step two. I will really appreciate if you check those books. Until next time.